All right, we have a problem with this tank. I just found out, well, not, I, I know for a while now that um, the fish in this tank has columnaris worms. I think that's how to say it. <clears throat> uh, let's see if we can kind of spot one. And they're not swimming too happily, not being themselves. Yeah, so I see that white cloud right there. The, it's kind of protruding out. And uh, this, that fish right there too, you can kind of see it, but I really can see it on these guppies. That's where you kind of really see them the most. Let's see if I can... Yeah, so um, that's some nasty stuff. I've been trying to use um, Fenbendazole. Um, I've also been feeding this quad flake. But it's still kind of persisting, so I did have some fish that already passed away. There you can see that little worm hanging out of the butt there. Oddly enough, you know, it's not affecting the hill streams and the farlowellos. Um, they seem fine. The quarries seem fine. So it seems like um, it's affecting the, the ground dweller. I mean, not the ground dwellers, but it's only affecting the fish that um, are free swimming. But I'm going to try this dewormer that actually um, is used for chickens developed by um, my friend Bolo on the Big Island. Uh, he says to use one drop per gallon. So um, given that there's so much hardscape in the 75, I think I'll probably just do probably 50 drops or so. And I'll just uh, dilute it in this cup of water before pouring it in. Um, so I'll see if this improves things because these fish need help. And everything I've been trying so far hasn't been working. So uh, I'll go ahead and treat this tank. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow to see um, how the fish are doing. Um, I'll give you an update. All right, this is two days after I initially dosed Bolo's deworm medication, and I am really surprised to see that there has been a large improvement on a lot of the fish. I can no longer see um, on some of them that really large belly with um, worms coming out. So, I'm glad to say that I'm pretty sure it actually works. I might have to um, follow up with another dosage. I, I still do see several that kind of show some, especially the smaller ones, that um, show signs that maybe they're still um, a little bit affected by it. Um, but I do notice that some of them kind of have this um, concave belly. Um, I guess because maybe their bellies were full of worms and now that they were expelled, that, that's why they look like that. I did have a couple of fish die off. And actually, um, I had a lot of cherry red shrimp in this tank. And I think they all perished for that. So this warning um, to anyone who has shrimp, this is not um, shrimp safe, I have found. I'll find out what's, what the ingredients are in that medication, but I, um, I've used I said like earlier I used Fenbendazole and that quad flake um, and it didn't have this drastic of um, results so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend this medication if you ever have um, culinary worms very good Alright, this is my final update on this 2-in-1 dewormer that I used on this tank. And um, I wanted to spotlight this guppy because this guppy was really infected. Hopefully, in my first shot, the first day of well, pre-treatment, I, I got a good shot of her. But she is looking way better because she was highly infected. With Her belly was just full of worms and everything. But she's looking a lot better, 100% recovered. 
um, as it appears. So yeah, everything looks good. So a little bit information about this medication. The active ingredients is fenbendazole and ivermectin. Not sure how to pronounce that. But I think they actually use it for um, chickens, uh, chicken dewormer. But it has been proven to be uh, safe for for fish. And also I have these um, ram horn snails which were unaffected as well. But caution on your neocaridinas. I did use the full recommended dosage which was one drop per gallon of water. So this is a 75 gallon tank and I kind of estimated that there's probably around only 50 gallons of water but maybe there actually there's less. Maybe I could have overdosed it. But yeah, after, after the first day of dosing, then I changed 30% uh, of water. And it has been about a week after that dose, so I haven't redosed yet. But I think I'll follow up with another dose in maybe a couple weeks from now, just to make sure that the, the, any possible eggs that might hatch from the worms also is treated, because they do have a life cycle. So I'll probably do that in a couple weeks. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in trying out this product, which um, has improved my situation here. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned. I just got a big box from Aquarium Co-op. He helped me out because I'm doing a big upgrade to my guppy setup in, back in the yard. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.